I am Adil Kumar. We are solving trigonometric equations and in this video we will understand how to write all possible solutions in the given domain. The question here is sin x minus square root 3 cos x equals to 0 where x is between minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi. Right? So that's the domain. The equation is sin x minus square root 3 cos x equals to 0. So let's solve this taking minus 3 cos x to the right side which gives us sin x equals to square root 3 cos x. Now we can divide by cos x so we get sin x divided by cos x equals to square root 3. Now this is tan x so we get tan x equals to square root 3. Now tan x equals to square root 3 that means we are looking for uh, solutions in which quadrants let's work that out first quadrants use your rules to know which quadrants tan will be positive tan is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3 so we are looking for two solutions in 0 to 2 pi okay uh, but the domain is minus 2 pi to 2 pi. So we are looking for 4 solutions. 2 in 0 to 2 pi and 2 in 0 to minus 2 pi. You get the idea, right? So we are actually looking for 4 solutions in this particular case. So, so let's make a note of this. We are looking for 4 solutions. Since the domain is from minus 2 pi to 2 2 pi correct and these solutions are in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3 since we have positive tan value is it okay so this is just a note right so this is how you have to think so let me put this as thinking process right you need not write this okay so let's figure out what are those angles to find these angles, we could actually use calculator, but we'll use our special triangles, right? I hope you remember the special triangles, uh, which will give you square root 3 as one of the arms, that is 30, 60, 90, or pi by 3, pi by 6, 90 degrees, pi by 2, right? And the sides are 1, 2, and square root 3. Now for which angle is tan square root 3? Opposite over adjacent, right? Tan, remember Sokotoa, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. For tan, it is opposite over adjacent, right? So opposite over adjacent is pi by 3. So we know tan pi by 3 equals to square root 3 over 1 right so that is the so what we have done here is we have found related acute angles so we know related acute angle is square root i mean is pi by 3 okay for which tan is square root 3 is pi by 3 so that is the related acute angle so what we are trying to say here is that that angle is pi by 3. So the other solution is this, right? So this is related acute angle is pi by 3. Okay. That is what we have got. So what is the principal angle? So to get the answer, we have to actually write the principal angle. Is it okay? So the principal angle will be... Now, for tan, the period is pi so good at pi to get the principal angle also so we can say x is equals to now we have to go from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi so let's go from first uh, let me rewrite let me resketch this here to make you understand how we go from minus 2 pi to 2 pi so let's go positive 2 pi first so we have found that that is the solution. Is it okay? So this is first angle, which is pi by 3. So this is pi by 3. Is it okay? Now, so we write this pi by 3. 
Now the second one which will be this much. So that is pi by 3. So there are 3 pi by 3's here. And this one is the fourth pi by 3, right? So that one is 4 pi by 3, which you get by adding pi, right? So pi by 3 plus pi. Do you see that straight line? So there's just 4 pi by 3. And now you come to 2 pi. So you started with uh, 0 and came back to 2 pi when you go in this direction. But minus 2 pi, you have to go in the other direction, right? So, so when you go from here, you reach there. Do you see that? This much. So which is <coughs> minus 2 pi by 3. Do you see that? So this is minus 2 pi by 3. If you go from here, that one is minus 2 pi by 3. And then come back to this position, so which is uh, which is kind of like this. So you do minus of pi this, right? So you get these two angles as minus two pi by three, and then again minus pi, so which is minus six. I mean minus pi by. So you could write this as minus. 2 pi by 3 minus pi, right? Another minus pi. So that gives you as minus 8 pi by 3. You get an idea, right? So, so that means minus 2 pi and this is 3. So minus 5 pi by 3. Okay. So you get minus 2 pi by 3 and minus, this is 3, right? So minus 5 pi by 3. Is it okay? So that is how you get your other angles. So let me write down these angles first here. So the other angles which are from 0 to minus 2 pi will be minus 2 pi by 3 and minus 5 pi by 3. Correct? Now we try to got, get these angles with the help of this diagram but you could actually get all the angles after getting the acute angle as follows. Alternately, let me write down alternately. you could get these angles from pi by 3. So you have pi by 3 as one solution. The other one is you add pi by 3 to it, pi plus pi by 3 to get this, or from here you could subtract pi, right? So, or you could get uh, pi by 3 minus pi, right? And then again minus pi or pi by 3 minus 2 pi. Do you see that? So that is how you get four angles. So these two and these two, these are from 0 to 2 pi and these are from 0 to minus 2 pi. Do you see that? So you get these four angles. So pi by 3, pi by 3 plus pi gives you 4 pi by 3. When you take away pi, so pi minus 3 pi will be minus 2 pi by 3 and when you take away minus 2 pi, you get minus 5 pi by 3, correct? So you get these angles. So that becomes the solution. So I prefer to use this technique, which is my alternate method in this particular case. So find the acute angle and then use the time period of the trigonometric function. The time period is pi, right? So it repeats after every pi in this case right to get the others so we get four solutions for the given question so that is kind of important to understand i'm anil kumar and i hope this point is clear so go through this video once again to understand really how we got these four angles you can always share and subscribe my videos and feel free to post questions thank you and all the best